Welcome back guys, Dead Island 2 was added to PC Game Pass a couple of weeks ago. In this video, I'll be showing you how to enable FSR version 3.1.2 frame generation in this game using Nitex Free OptiScaler mod. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now before jumping into the guide, I would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass for the purpose of reviewing games. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. We also get a small discount on some games being sold on Microsoft Store. Games from first party Microsoft Studios and even third party studios are included with PC Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included. In India, Microsoft Store even supports UPI mode of payment. In order to get OptiScaler frame generation working with any game, the game needs to support Direct3D 12 API and DLSS Subscaler. Now here's the thing, Dead Island Part 2 does not support DLSS Subscaler, yes you heard it right. So I'll be using the Callisto protocol, FSR2 DLSS Bridge mod in order to get DLSS working in Dead Island 2. You can download this mod for absolutely free from Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Here's the thing, DLSS Subscaler in this game exhibits graphical artifacts, so it's recommended to use either FSR 3.1.2 or XCSS 1.3.1 Upscaler. So just click on files here, download the latest version, click on manual download, click on slow download. I'll be using version 0.7 preview 36 build of OptiScaler. You can download it for free from OptiScaler's GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section, expand it, click on the preview 36.7z link. First, I'll install the Callisto protocol, FSR to DLSS bridge mod. Just open its archive file. Copy all of the files present inside this archive window. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Open the Xbox PC app, click on my library, select the game. Click on the three dots next to play button. Click on manage. Click on files. Game size is around 90 GB. Click on browse. This is the game's install directory, Dead Island 2. Open content folder. Open Dead Island folder. Open binaries folder. Open win gdk folder. Paste the mod files here. Just execute this registry file. Enable Nvidia say go override. Now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Open its archive file. For RTX GPUs, don't need to use the nvngx.dll file. And just copy these files, don't need to select the folders. Highlighting the files. Go back. Paste the files here. And just change the name of nvngx.dll to dxgi.dll. Copy the highlighted files. Paste them in the games directory where you pasted the previous mod files. In this directory. That's it, the mod has been installed. Now make sure hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click on the desktop, then click on display settings. Now just click on graphics. Click on change default graphics settings. From here, enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting. If your monitor supports VRR, enable this setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, then click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select the exe file corresponding to Dead Island 2. Now scroll down to the end, enable vSync from here. Look for another setting in this box. Low latency mode, set it to ultra, it will help in reducing the latency. Apply the changes. My monitor supports FreeSync Premium, G-Sync compatible. Just click on setup G-Sync here and enable these settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode. And enable settings for the selected display model. We are ready to run the game. Just make sure no third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background. It can interfere with the working of the mod. I'll be using NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Dead Island 2 is an action role playing game, sequel to 2011's Dead Island. It is set about 15 years after the events of Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide, 
part two sets itself apart from its predecessors by taking place in a zombie infested Los Angeles placed under quarantine will be fighting against hordes of zombies you need to sign into your epic games account in order to play the pc game pass version of dead island 2 connecting to epic online services see game can be played in co-op mode i'll be playing it in solo mode entirely up to you in game settings full hd resolution display mode full screen vsync disabled no fps cap applied motion blur disabled i'll just max out the settings ultra preset Just make sure FSR2 upscaler is enabled. DLSS upscaler will be used instead of FSR. Just boot into the game. You'll see something like this. So many graphical artifacts. It's due to the DLSS upscaler not working properly. Just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Upscaler selected DLSS from this top down bar. Change the upscaler. I'll just select XCSS. Apply. It's version 1.3.1 Frame generation disabled for the time being Here you can see Image got fixed XCSS upscaler is producing a lot of texture shimmering around the vegetation Leaves of the trees It's looking ugly See Texture shimmering going on Around the leaves So I'll just switch to FSR upscaler from this drop down bar select FSR 3.x apply its version 3.1.2 check out the vegetation yeah texture shimmering got fixed so in this game I would recommend using FSR 3.1.2 upscaler without frame generation enabled FPS is within a range of 90 to 110 decent performance I'll just enable frame generation now on back to the game yeah FPS increased to around 160 can observe the added amount of smoothness input delay is not a problem but the game's HUD elements are flickering you can see that in the top right corner I'll just open OptiScaler's debug view In the bottom middle image, the HUD elements are visible. This means they will flicker after enabling OptiScaler frame generation. And the rectangle in the bottom right corner is completely black. Just open OptiScaler menu, enable FG HUD fix setting. Limit value set to 1, HUD element in the bottom middle image is still visible. Just set the limit value to 2. Now the display is working properly for the bottom right rectangle. Hard elements are not visible in the bottom middle image. Let's just play the game. Disable debug view. Everything is working properly. FSR smoothing effect. Hard elements not flickering. Have a nose around in here. Hold your hoses. Is that a breaker I see? Need to open the main gate. Just a ticket. Just need to restore the power. Good I'll engage in combat now. Roll with the punches, as my granddad used to say. How is the attacks by pressing the Alt key? Broke my weapon. Back that zombie. FPS straight figure range of 120 to 140 during combat. Zombie is down. Smashed its head. Oh my god. That's it with the video, guys. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. It's Bel Air. Of course, it's locked.